Yolo Roman, in this video I will give you tips for the three revolution tricks. So if you want to learn your first three rev or just to land a new one, just watch it. <laughs> don't actually need the basis it's all about the technique okay but to master it the bases are essential for example if you want to master Scala uh, you will need a good old home image a good cross or home image and a good magmage it's hard to master it when you have the bases so imagine without the bases the first rev is the most important one in my opinion uh, I mean you can have strong bases, like very strong, but if the first rev isn't optimal, then it will be super hard to get your trick. The first rev needs to be explosive and powerful, so you have more time to do the two others. This works even better with the stepping three revs. The leg doesn't have to go at the ball's height, but to stay low while the ball is going up. Some people will tell you, think about the trick, like two separate tricks, not touch. But in my opinion, this is the wrong vision, okay? It's a single movement, so think about the whole trick instead of first rev, then the second rev, or you will lose speed and your brain will be confused. Even if it can seem like two tricks sometimes, like Skora move, for example, um, don't think like that. The Scala, for example, uh, you have to see your Scala reception as an all home image no touch, but don't see your Scala as ATV all home image no touch, okay? <laughs> but yeah, just see it as one single movement. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment uh, if you like this type of content and if you want to support us. Thanks. As always, one of the best techniques to learn a trick is the visualization. Maybe you saw it yet, but we posted a lot, a lot, a lot <laughs> of slow motion tricks uh, in YouTube shorts. So we made a playlist, you can check it in the description. So you can visualize almost every 3 tricks and also some no touches. And if you have any suggestion, if you want to see uh, any trick in slow motion, just tell us in the comments or by Instagram and yeah, we will be glad to do it for you. Find your weak point. You are not supposed to train 10 hours on a single trick. You have to find your weak point, the why you cannot land it and work on it as quickly as possible. So it will become a strong point. For example, a very common one, uh, you struggle with Homie to the Lemons uh, because your first rev is weak just work on your poly trick and mag, for example. Okay, I said before, don't think like two tricks, no touch. But you need to gain speed, explosivity and power. So what better than two res, no touch for that? This is probably the most important base, as it seems like the two last revolutions of a three ref. It will also help you for the last touch. For example, Scala is all home image, no touch. Skora move is Ohomi Tuzani no touch, Pale is Lemons no touch, uh, Super Mag is Home Image no touch. There are some exceptions as always. For example, Shimo is more about the two first revs, so the most important base for Shimo will be Lemons Tuzani, but still, Ohomi Tuzani no touch will be helpful. Talking about the first revolution, uh, for most of the three revs, you should work on your max start. Uh, to gain speed. Yeah. Okay, it's getting dark, but I will finish the video, okay? Stay stay here. The last advice I can give to you is just give it all. Just as I said in the no touch guide, when you watch your favorite freestylers, uh, three revs look effortless and it looks like they don't need any power to do it, but they reached that level of power with a lot of work, uh, with years of trainings and at the beginning it was much much harder so give it everything at each attempt and don't wait for the perfect one like the perfect touch the perfect juggle no just give it all i also asked in story what advice would you give to someone who wants to learn his first three ref uh, so a very interesting answer 
was from Jonathan. Don't listen to people who are saying it's a bit higher or lower. Uh, it makes it mentally harder. So do what feels natural for you. Just remember it's a long-term work and the more bases you build, the less effort you will need to put in the future. So mastering it will be much easier. So just train consistently and trust the process. I hope guys this video was helpful for you and don't hesitate to mention us on Instagram, uh, in your stories, in your posts, uh, when you land a new 3Rev or when you, when you progress. See you in the next video. Bye.